graphics. I don't think they want even uh, the, this chiseled, sculpted look as their goal. The, the important question here is, as a result of that, what is it that they're trying to achieve? Is it attention? Uh, is it that they want influence over others, power? Uh, what is it that exactly they want? And of course, how can they get that in a more healthy way? Uh, does bulimia, anorexia, any of that kind of come into this? That's kind of what a lot of people would think of when it comes to having a, a good sculpted figure. Is that something that parents should immediately start thinking about? I think so. Not, I'm not so sure that uh, it's one of those things that you should immediately think about, but it is certainly related. Uh, we've known that eating disorders has been around for a long time, and we're seeing the incidence of eating disorder happening at a younger and younger age. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some of the drugs that were taken and related to eating disorders were things like laxatives and diuretics, um, and unfortunately now we're talking anabolic steroids, which really uh, uh, increases the stakes a great deal. We talked a little bit about some of the warning signs. I mentioned them, increase in appetite, aggressive behavior, stunted growth, a decrease in menstrual cycles. As a parent, what, is there anything else that they can kind of look for? Or what is the one thing maybe that would be the telltale sign for a parent that their child might be using it? Well, uh, this is difficult, by the way. Um, I think probably the best thing a parent can do is uh, to be objective. Uh, you know, we all like to think that our children are the exception and not the rule. Uh, we like to think our children uh, don't, don't get into these kinds of things. But as parents, we need to take an objective look and look for the signs, uh, no matter how well our, children's are, are our children are doing. Uh, I think, too, it's important, this emphasizes the point, that we need to have uh, continuing conversations with our children, not just when it is we suspect there might be trouble. But this is an ongoing process. We need to understand what our children believe, what it is they're thinking, what it is they want, and, and their plans for how it is they want to achieve these things. All right, Dr. Russell Bell from Florida Gulf Coast University, thank you very much for joining You're us welcome. and providing us your insight.